Now let's talk about MIDI. Shall I get rid of all these audio things? I think I will. Let's get rid of everything. Except for the MIDI track. So, go to the setup menu first of all. And go to MIDI input devices. And make sure that your input device is on here. And it is. Mine is. So hit OK. And then the next thing you want to do is set up MIDI input filter. And here are your options. I like these options. They work for most purposes. So I'm going to hit cancel. And as promised, the reason that this is an instrument track and not a MIDI track is very simple. If you make a MIDI track, you can't put a virtual instrument right on an insert. You have to make an auxiliary insert. So that means that anytime you want to do a virtual instrument, you have to have two tracks. Not cool. So again, track new. Do not use MIDI track. This is outdated. The only reason they even have this in here is for backwards compatibility purposes. That's it. Choose instrument track instead. Okay, speaking of adding a virtual instrument, let's just do that right now and click this where the insert is and go to, um, we'll do multi-channel and then instrument, expand to. All right, now this is like probably the most interesting plugin in Pro Tools first. And that's because it has a crap ton of options. And for you guys that love virtual instruments, Pro Tools First might be worth download just for free access to this plugin. Look at this. It's a huge list of virtual instruments. Patches is what they call them. So, uh, I don't know. Let's go to Acoustic Piano. And we'll do a Hard Grand Piano. All right. I don't think I have to have record enable on for this, but let's just see. And I was correct. I'm actually standing up now because I need to hit the keyboard, but I'm going to play this just so you can hear it. I think you get the idea. So MIDI is really not that much different from recording real audio, except instead of audio, you are recording data, MIDI data points. So let's record Enable and record a few things just to show you what happens. Now that those notes are recorded, we can click down here on the MIDI editor. I think you can just double click this and it might come up. Yeah, there we go. So then we're going to scroll down and find our notes. I don't see the notes. Okay, there they are. <laughs> so if I wanted to make them bigger, just like up here, you know, you go to this half and half thing. There's a half and half thing down here as well. Well, that's as, bi as big as it gets. Important things to remember when editing MIDI. You can change what notes are displayed by clicking this drop down arrow right here and changing it to different note values. So let's do like 132 notes and see how my grid is a lot more precise now. And then I'll, I'll do 164, a lot more grids, and then I'll do a half note just to show you the difference. <laughs> so I'm going to do one quarter notes for right now. And just like up here, if I hold Alt and use my mouse wheel, I can zoom in and out. I did forget to mention that in the expand plugin, you can actually click the instrument name left click and have even more options. I clicked the wrong thing, but there. Now now you can see the options. This is a very extensive plugin that I'm not going to get into this for this tutorial cuz this tutorial is already long enough without talking about that plugin. 
to quantize, go to the event menu, event operations, and then quantize. You can also press Alt-0, and then I'm not going to get into what the, all these parameters mean, but that's how you quantize MIDI. To change your note velocity, look down here, and then drag up and down. If you're a horrible keyboard player and you want to cheat, let me show you a big tip that could get me in trouble with the music industry, but no, seriously. So what you want to do is hit enter, and I'm going to close the MIDI editor by clicking right here, or minimize it I should say, and then what I'm going to do is go to the event menu, event operations, step input, and right here. I'm just going to keep it on the main, the default options, but basically what this allows you to do is hit notes one at a time, and then they get input. But to show you what that did, Yeah, <laughs> I didn't play that like that, but uh, yeah, so you just, you know, change these parameters, make it sound more realistic. This is how to program MIDI in Pro Tools, the pop music way. Now let's do some clip looping. And what you want to do is hit Alt and R at the same time. And let's say I want to do five repeats, hit five, okay. And there we go. So you can play one part, get it sounding good, and then do that.